when Satan comes in too, is maybe when the emotional, there's not the honeymoon high anymore. Mm-hmm. And you kind of realize like, we don't actually talk to each other. I had a priest say this about the priesthood and I've applied it to marriage because I think it's true here too. A priest told me that when he was in seminary and this is, it gave me chills. It always gives me chills when I say it. He said when he was in seminary, he realized there were three types of priests. There were those who were called by God to be there. There were those who are, who called themselves to the priesthood. And there were those who were called by Satan. And I was like, Oh, wow. And I thought, you know, you could apply that to marriage too, because there are those marriages that you can tell are called, have been called by God to be married because you see the fruits that are born of marriages that um, you see the fruits of, you know, peace and joy and how people with their kids, with the people around them. And then you see people who got married, who called themselves to a marriage. And sometimes they last 40 years and, you know, sometimes they don't. And then you kind of see, I was thinking like, what's the like Satan call? And sometimes I just think that's like an abuse, abusive relationships where people, you know, marry. I I would say the vast majority of our people, of our friends, uh, I have friends that have been annulled. That's who I would say. Like, I feel like they belong to that camp where one of them is amazing and beautiful. And I have friends where like, I have closer friends that are the girls, but I have some friends where it's the guys where the wife just kind of went crazy and took off and now he's with the kids and yeah like so and there are some times that god did call certain men to be priests and it was hard or there came a woman along or something else along and you know like and and there's sometimes people are called by god in a marriage and the work is just too hard or the you know Mm, it just they don't continue Satan gets in because Satan will always look (laughs) just like your Irish friends, any crack he can, he will look for any crack to come in. And like the Satan will always wait. And I think with married couples um, in psychology, we learned that like a lot of divorces happen after like the first, in the first two years, the seventh year, like the seven year itch. And then 20 years when kids are all leaving the house and like the couple realizes they have nothing to talk about anymore. That's kind of when most divorces happen. And I, you can kind of see like that's probably when Satan comes in too is maybe when the emotional there's not the honeymoon high anymore mm-hmm. and you kind of realize like we don't actually talk to each other like we don't really have a lot to talk about or like we and the sexual chemistry you know it's like when you're not as horny anymore <laughs> like you know you just kind of I don't know like if it doesn't if the love doesn't go deeper I feel like that's when Satan just comes in and that's when affairs happen that's when pornography addictions mm-hmm. happen alcohol i mean it's just so much stuff um but the devil's just kind of always waiting for any entry into marriage because how how sad and you and i probably both know catholic couples who you were like these two people man or both catholics they know what they're entering into um mm-hmm. and you kind of just see like again, whatever it is, affairs or like Satan come in and it's scandalous. It's, and devil's like, I can't wait, you know? Yeah. 